everybody, welcome to my studio. Um, we utilised a kind of dead space in the side of the garden, so it's triangular in shape. And uh, hubby and me designed and built it ourselves. Just give you a twirl round quickly. I've got a nice um, big patio doors there with side windows so I can open my blinds and let lots of lovely sun in in the summer and it's great for when I'm painting and stuff. Um, excuse all this mess here, don't look at that mess. Okay, so here's where I work, where I spend most of my days. Uh, I'm trying to turn really slowly so bear with me. Um, right, so in this corner I have some trolleys that I can pull in and out which comes in handy. I do have a bit of muck stashed up at the minute guys so sorry. Uh, this is kind of my resin in station but I have got a few bits and bobs just bunged in there. Um, this is some wood that my son kindly donated to me. He makes fine furniture for a living, so I get lovely bits of wood from him. And of course, Steve does woodworking too, so I get lots of bits of wood to use for my jewellery and things. Um, over here, i um, just got a big board here um, with lots of tags that people have made me over the years, uh, or that we've made it when I used to do demos and workshops where I store a lot of my big canvases and small canvases and the place where I just bung stuff as you can tell um, so that's that corner and then on this unit it's where I've got a lot of my um, art pads and some paints that I use for mixed media um, some bits of up there and mica powders, some of my books for jewellery and uh, for such, uh, a big tub of crap, uh, loads of metal bits that I used to actually sell these online when I used to do a lot of mixed media stuff, they're just what were left over but when I stopped. Uh, this has just got a few bits and bobs in, some stamps and things that I designed. Paper and card mainly here, again I don't really use a great deal of it anymore uh, it's a kind of a throwback from when I used to do um, like mixed media and um, paper crafts and obviously I used to do demoing and things so I needed a bit of stocking to set people up. Uh, oh there's my little torch. Um, one's covered in paint because I had a go at, um, what do they call it, um, when you just throw loads of paint on the canvas and warm it with your torch you know what I mean that and that's my butane big butane torch that I use to melt copper and bits and bobs for jewellery uh, tubs with um, glues and paints in like all my spares if you like my fan for when it gets a bit hot and on this one we've got um, Again, all mixed media stuff and paints. There's all my pebbles, which I still haven't tried on clay. Uh, so I might have to have a little go at that. Because um, I've only used it in a mixed media setting. I've never used it on clay. So that would be interesting anyway. Shut up. <laughs> There's all my brushes and some of my rollers and things that I've used before. Um, this is just mount board and card and bits and bobs of things that I've just bunged. I'm a bunger, can you tell? I like being tidy, but everything gets bunged. Uh, a lot of my mixed media supplies are there, gesso and crackle and stuff. Uh, they're what I use for um, tinting, tinting my copper, that's liver of sulphur, and that's just some bicarbonate of soda to rinse it off in. And other selections and bits and bobs of paints and art materials. Um, this is a, the main bits that I get out to use when I'm making my jewellery so I keep my beads and my findings in all these boxes. This is where I keep all my cording materials 
and in these white boxes is just um, bits and bobs of things that I don't use a lot but obviously they need somewhere to live and then on this unit we've got some Tim Holtz stuff up there that I, I'm a big fan of his mixed media stuff um, alcohol inks and uh, alcohol inks and <laughs> ink pads and the such and then in he on here I've got some more art pads and I've got some stamps and stencils and things in these lovely little folders uh, some more bits of stamps and stuff and textures and that's where I keep my stencils and things uh, just some more art supplies there my pan pastels and my sharpies uh, these are just little boxes of smaller findings that I have my copper sheeting uh, my little block that I dap with some mica powders and mica flakes and other artistic -y stuff that I've been bunging in clay lives there and then under here I've basically got um, that's clay and uh, sam samples that I've made this is my go-to box for wire wrapping I've got a lot of stones and cabochons uh, real stone and cabochons in there some paints a big box of clay again more boxes just filled with um, there are all my gilding flakes and some ink pads and bits and bobs in there, sponges and things in there. And again, boxes at the bottom that I just have um, alterables for, mi for mixed media and wire and things like that in. And I'll just move my chair. And over here, this is my old desk. Uh, I have a drawer here, absolutely I'll, I'll show you I'll be ashamed but I'll show you it's just absolutely bunged full of crap well I say crap it's not crap is it it's some the molds I use and some of the um, cutters and things that I don't use a lot that's what I keep in this drawer I never open a drawer in my house everything falls out of it then I've just got boxes of clay under here as you can see, Fimo and Cernit and Primo, um, they're just small blocks. Um, I do have some more stashed in these boxes over here. Um, and then this is, um, like I said, this is my old desk that we utilised in this space. Steve cut the corner off so it would fit. And this is where I just keep everything to hand for while I'm sat at my desk. So anything that I use a lot, especially when I'm filming, uh, like these are some of the bits we made the other day that I haven't got round to finishing or putting away yet. Some bits of findings that um, I need to put back in the boxes. I just have this tub here to keep them tidy till I put them back in the box. But as you can see, it's all brimming out now and on my desk. So, and I've got some of my um, texture plates here, and where I put my lolly sticks and my little pokey tools and my. Um, liquid clays and cernit liquids and things and varnishes uh, I have a few um, bigger um, stamps and textures on that little rack my little acrylic roller that I keep forgetting I've got so I've still not used it all my, ta uh, my jewelry pliers are kept here uh, that's um, just somewhere I hang bits and bobs and I've not put them away I have a magnetic mat so all my favorite tools uh, favorite cutters can sit on the magnetic mat I don't have to go digging about in that drawer uh, again more tubs with bits and bobs in I can just pop these off when I need them put them by the side of me uh, these are the two tubs that I use the most and these are handy because I can just lift them off and put them at the side of me when I'm filming or working uh, there's Percival, my little friend, with his little clay hat on. Don't ask, I give everything a name. Um, here is my uh, machine station. Sometimes I move it to be closer to me, but if I'm filming, I like to have it here, then I can just swivel around on my chair, pop it through and swivel back. Um, so it lives in two places sometimes. As you can see, I've taken these guards off 
Uh, I haven't taken the these off. Don't take them off. I've seen a few people who've accidentally taken them off. I've just taken the guard off that covers there. And I've also, obviously, I've got a, whatever they're called, a mortar. It's the one that call, goes with the Atlas, the Mercato one. So I keep a few scraps for passing through if I've been changing from dark to light just to make sure I don't pick anything up. Uh, I have a few cork mats here with my favourite uh, 3D printed um, cutters on. Some bits of jewellery that I just uh, I haven't put away or done anything with. Uh, and here's my oven. Now this was very cheap. I think it was £35 from Aldi. It was even cheaper for me because I didn't buy it. A friend gifted it to me uh, because they, uh, they, they didn't use it. And so I said I'd have it for my clay instead of using the house oven. I keep my spur tins on the top, as you can see. Um, the thermometer on this one isn't the best. As we know with these ovens, they aren't the best. So I never touch that dial. It just stays there. I have a little mark there in case it does get knocked I know where it needs it should kind of be and then inside excuse the state of it but it's not a cooking oven isn't it so I don't clean it <laughs> um, I've lined the bottom with tiles cheap cheap tiles that I got from the tile shop um, they were just a couple of pounds for a big box and I've lined my shelf with tiles I don't bake on this though. That's I put these tiles in just to keep the heat nice, if that makes sense. I don't know what the right word is. Um, it just stops your oven spiking um, because it's not rapidly losing heat because the tiles hold the heat. Does that make sense? That's what I do. I have two thermometers, one that sits up there. I do not use the top bars. I've never used the top bars. I only use the bottom bars um, and I, it takes about 10 minutes to reach temperature and then it's good to go. Uh, as you know, and I've said this previously, I'm not one for putting anything in cold. I don't think you should put things in cold. That's my opinion. Um, I like my oven on, ready to go when I want to bung something in. I do though, as you can see here, that's my little note to remind me that when I turn the oven on, I take my tray out. My tray always goes in the oven cold. Um, because I found, especially with translucent clay, that if I put this in hot, um, it starts to burn the bottom of the clay. Uh, and a lot of people have said to me, oh, well, your, your oven's too hot. I know my oven isn't too hot because it wouldn't burn the other clay. We are both, we, we all know that translucent can be a bit iffy sometimes. So this is my tray that I use. I have a tile in the bottom. I have a bit of wadding, the stuff that you make quilts with. I have a couple of pieces of card and paper and that stops uh, my clay bottom getting too much direct heat. Again, that's just what I do, guys. I find it works for me. Um, you know, not everything works the same for everybody, does it? But that's what I do. And people have asked questions. So that's what I do. So, right, we've done that. We've done the station. We've done that. Uh, this is just my PC. I'm currently editing a video uh, for you guys. Um, <clears throat> so this is just like my little workstation when I'm working away. I can shove uh, everything back under there to get it out of the way when I'm claying, which is handy. Uh, my little tub with bits and bobs in that I use a lot, like scissors and rulers and I have a couple of pens and pencils for drawing. My coffee. I did have, you could probably see the crumbs, three biscuits there, but they've now gone. Some sweeties. <laughs> we all need sweeties. Um, this is the stand I use for filming. I know it um, looks very technical and very expensive, doesn't it? It was £12 off um, Amazon. My phone sits in here. 
and then I have this little microphone that's attached to a little wooden skewer because um, it that is right near my mouth now so those of you that said my sound was a bit off and have now said it's better it's because I bought this microphone just for you so this is the desk you see me working at all the time I've got a few scraps here that uh, I need to sort out well not sort out that's black that's bits left over from a few things that I've bunged together and I just need to mix it and there's a bit of translucent left um, I've got a pot with a few tools in, my alcohol, uh, that's my crap bowl that everybody was laughing at in group. It's full of crap, it's my crap bowl. <laughs> uh, some wet wipes and stuff. This is where I put my dishes and things uh, off my desk when I'm working so I can just bring a tub in with all my cutters in or whatever. Uh, I've got another pegboard. When we uh, kitchen roll and bits of jewellery that I've made I've just hung up for samples a bit of solder and things that are hanging around that I've just hung up out the way that's me ring light that I don't need to use anymore because we've moved my light um, and I just keep things on here that I, I you know a bit of tape and things my alcohol and acetone um, a little bit of um, smelly spray that I like to spray on the bags when I send a little bit of jewellery out because it, it's just nice then isn't it um, so yeah that's just my another little pegboard I've got here's my lovely Dremel I'll just step back and show you my lovely Dremel station that's a wonderful wonderful lady bought me uh, and I love so much uh, I've got it on my snake at the minute uh, because I was using it while I was filming so I can take my snake down, my Dremel just hangs on that hook and I can take my snake down and use my snake uh, but generally it lives in this little, where is it, there it is it lives in this little, uh, that's just a little ball it lives in this little um, socket here and I can sand and buff and things with two hands and it's also a drill press so that's going to come in, oops, going to come in handy uh, if I need to drill anything. Um, maybe probably use it more with metalwork stuff, but still, it's good. And obviously I've got a mask when I'm dry sanding. Uh, I do have a bowl under my desk that I go and get soapy water in sometimes. These are just some of the heads I use. As you can see, I've got a new one, an old one of each. That's the head I was talking about. Um, that you stick the pads to, velcro pads to, sanding pads, really inexpensive of um, off Amazon, I think I put the link in my um, sanding and finishing video, so if you go to the sanding and finishing video you will see a link for all these bits and bobs, um, there's my smelling machine because I just like it when with a bit of aromatherapy going on, sneaky peek at some things that are going out to the girls in group there's my uv lamp i just took it to one side when i'm not using it there's um a lot of crap and parcel boxes that i save to send things out uh, just a daylight lamp for when i'm drawing or sketching or anything it helps uh, stuff i used to clean up with in here and then i've got two printers i've got my does everything printer uh, I've got a laser jet printer for doing transfers and things and I've got a shelf up here that's got my um, embossing and cutting machine and some mixed media items that I've not played with an interesting bit of driftwood that I found on the beach once um, and I think that's about it guys I have got a load of rubbish here I need to sort it's not rubbish it's stuff I used to use uh, when I was doing a lot of workshops and I need to just gift it I've got some more drawers and things under here and I've got quite a few art supplies um, like easels and boards and things that I my, my big easels folded up under them and stuff because I don't really paint in the winter my radiator and Doris's blanket and that's about it guys um, yeah, just my little studio, my little home from home. Um, this is where I spend most of my time. 
I'll just push my chair back. Um, so now you know, now you know what I do and where I sit and where I work. Uh, and if you've got any questions and stuff, um, I know the oven isn't available anymore. Um, but um, so I can't really give you a link to where I bought it from because the, it's not there anymore. But it's just a little nine litre toaster oven. If you're ever thinking of getting one, I think they're all much of a muchness. Right. I'm going to go and finish my coffee uh, and finish editing this video and I shall see you all soon. Bye.